Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4 as we are playing with the British Empire. Alright, so before we get started, I'd like to uh, talk about one thing and that's just uh, the topic of video length. We, we did that poll in the Spanish series that we did last and I had the poll where I had the three options on uh, what your guys' preferred video length was, uh, 60 minutes, 45 minutes, or 30 minutes. And um, just to kind of tell you what, how that went, 50% uh, of you guys uh, voted for uh, 60 minute videos that you prefer these, you know, the hour long videos that I typically do or that I've been doing here for a while now. So obviously that means that that option was picked the most, but it still means that 50% of you guys would prefer shorter videos. And I've actually gotten quite a few comments about that over the last several weeks about the the video lengths, you know, that the videos are have gotten really, really long uh, compared to how my, my videos used to be where they're all like 38 minutes, 40 minutes long usually, and I'd only occasionally do an hour long video. And I, I wanna let you guys know, I do hear you. Uh, I need to do a, a better job about having some shorter videos uh, rather than having them all be so long. Personally, I kinda, I kinda do have a little bit of bias towards the longer videos because while they are harder to, to do, they take more time obviously, uh, and they, they take longer to do everything. They take longer to, to uh, you know, render. They take longer to upload. They take longer for YouTube to process them. It takes longer for HD to be processed. I mean, everything takes longer, uh, a lot longer. So overall, it's more work uh, doing it. Obviously, you put less ads overall on it uh, than you would on, you know, multiple shorter videos. Uh, so, so it's probably not beneficial in that sense, um, but I, I like one I, I always want to keep playing. So that's it's hard for me to get off, and because uh, I, I want to keep seeing what happens next. Uh, and then uh, the other thing is, I like getting through these series quicker. Uh, I like you know that we now get through a series in like three weeks, uh, and we get it completed, and we can start a new one. Where before it was taking like fi five, six, seven weeks to do a series. So yeah, I like that we get through the series quicker. Uh, that's a uh, really enjoyable aspect of uh, of it for me. But I know that 50% of you guys don't uh, don't want the longer videos all the time. So I'm gonna try and make an effort to to make these videos shorter, starting with this one now, given I have this little bit longer intro, so it won't be 40 minutes. Maybe we'll try and get like, I don't know, 48 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that, because I got this intro here. But I'm gonna try and make an effort of having some shorter videos, uh, not every video be, be so long. Uh, there was a channel that God, I can't remember which channel it was. I had, I'd watched a couple of his videos before, and he had an interesting format uh, where he did, you know, the first video was long, obviously, for the search engine, and then, like, every fifth video, so episode five, episode 10, 15, so on, would be an hour long, and then every other video was 30 minutes long, and that was his format, and I thought that was interesting. Uh, obviously, I'd want, I wouldn't want to do that because I like being more responsive on what's going on in the campaign, and then those videos be longer, the ones that make sense, but I'm going to try and trying to go that route uh have you know just a few videos be longer and and try and make them a little bit shorter since yeah 50 percent of you guys don't want don't want the really long videos so so i'll try i i want to let you guys know i hear you uh and i hear all the comments uh about it and uh the post people and the messages people have been sending me so i'll try and uh i'll try and be better about it guys try and not only pay attention to the time because it's not just the time it's it's me not wanting to get off. Uh, so I'll try and be better about it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, so we need to uh, cover, you what, uh, cover what I did off camera. First of all, I made a new army here. We're sending them to the Netherlands. I had mentioned that in my pin post. Uh, if you guys are, are uh, ever going down the comment section, take a look at the the pin, the pin uh, my pin post. I almost always pin a post about something that I noticed, typically in editing. Looks like that got messed up. Uh, I usually notice things in editing that uh didn't didn't go the way i wanted uh something didn't go the way i wanted or you know i um like for instance me getting those cruisers instead of the carriers or something i'm planning to do them for next episode so i always put that little pin comment on there just on what i'm thinking and stuff uh so dip down to the comments every once in a while to see that so i went ahead and made a new uh well, actually this is the old army that's here but we took the commander and uh made a little line there for the syria front which is mostly going to be on uh, these crampier divisions uh we did leave a couple good ones because this is pretty much all we're going to have uh in the middle east and in africa essentially so we got all those guys and then we got this this army here that's all heading to the ports and then we're going to go divvy them out and put them places uh, we've got that going and i think that's it we can go in and start letting them move around uh one of the things you guys brought up is the fact that we did not get rid of the war to end all wars that's what's going on with the po population or some of the problems with the the population the manpower uh, i thought that we'd gotten rid of that but yeah that's yeah that is not the the focus i was thinking it was that got rid of it it's this one here 
I kept uh, focusing on the fact that it gives stability and war support and just missing the fact that it removes the national spirit. I thought that we'd gotten rid of that a long time ago. So yeah, we need to we need to really prioritize that, guys. That'll help a lot. I should have gotten it by now. Uh, the general consensus in the comments was that uh, we should wait to go to war uh, until at least until Spain's done, and maybe until we're a little bit more ready. Uh, so that's what we'll do. We'll wait a little bit longer, uh, since you guys did seem to want to do that. Uh, you know, we're going to wait to get the... Uh, I feel like it's more important to get uh, the land-based stuff for right now. Let's do let's do naval bombers first. Although, you know what? I think we're supposed to get a research bonus for that. Do we want to wait for it, though? I guess that's the real question. Uh, do I want to wait for the research bonus, especially when we're not going that route this time? Where is it? It's right here. It's two-time research bonus for naval bombers, so if you don't get it, you do waste it. Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, it's for close air support or naval bombers. Okay, so that would apply to, to either one. All right. Hmm. We still are a little ways away from getting that. Yeah, I just don't... I don't think we're going to wait for any of these at this moment. This will just all have to be for 1944 techs. It just means we'll be able to get the 1944 techs, you know, quicker. Uh, it's just the, the way it is because of me focusing on other things on this focus tree. And I don't want to wait that long uh, to get this. So we won't. Um, let's go ahead and, and get the new fighters while we're making them. We might as well go ahead and create a variant. Those I did forget about that problem that gets created if we create the variant immediately. So the lighten up, although it doesn't seem to be lit up. So I think it's OK. All right. So let's go ahead and get the Spitfires. And we're going to get a modified version, although we don't have a whole lot of experience. And we see what we can get here. Uh, so, yeah, not going to be able to do all that. Could do that and lose a little bit of reliability, which I'm not real keen on. I guess we'll just have to, to take down the range for right now. And this will get us our air attack and our max speed up. That's fine. Because, uh, yeah, there's not really anything I can get. I mean, we could tick up the reliability so that later we can... Yeah, I suppose we'll do that. Yeah, we'll tick up the reliability for right now. And then later we can modify them uh, and, you know, increase range and weapons and engine and all that kind of good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. Decommission these ones and get the Mark 1s building out there. Excellent. Uh, so we'll have better fighters, or at least a few better fighters by the time the war starts. Uh, we have these planes here still training, and I'm assuming these guys have probably hit the port by now. Uh, almost all of them have, making their way over here. And let's go ahead and get these guys moved around and get them assigned. So one of the first things I would like to do is send a few divisions to the Asian front. Now, we probably have more divisions than we need here to deal with the Japanese, since the Japanese are still in their civil war and it just feels like it's never going to end. They just are just exhausting themselves against each other. And, and what have they done navally against each other? Do they have any ships left? 32 to 38 for the communists here. And they're the ones that we are expecting to win and they barely have any ships. All the fascists have all the ships, uh, and they don't get the ships. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure, uh, unless it's a special... No, it's not a special civil war. So, yeah, they won't get the ships. They'll just... Uh, I guess they'll just be destroyed, because, yeah, you don't get those when you... So, I don't think the Japanese are going to have much of a navy now because of the civil war. So, we should be able to dominate even with our smaller navy that yeah, we have here. So, I'm just not worried about the Japanese if they ever finish that damn civil war. Uh, so we don't need troops for that, but what I would like to do is get Indochina conquered, and I'd like to give them a few divisions for that task, and then remember the Americans, uh, when they go to war, uh, join the war, they'll be in the Pacific Theater at least a little bit. Uh, so let's just send, like, one division. I mean, not, we're not going to get all crazy with it, but we'll send them one more division for a naval invasion, and that's it. And we'll go ahead and throw them into that purple army as well. Uh, and then... We could also get that planning, so as soon as we go to war with the communists, which is who I'm, I'm kind of wanting to go to war with. That's who I'm thinking would be the best best one to go, uh, to declare one first. Uh, let's go ahead and get a division to Malta. Malta's key. Cyprus, not as important. We can move some of these divisions over there. I just don't think we're going to lose Cyprus, guys. I would be shocked if, the, if, the, uh, if they're able to do any uh, invasions, the French. I'd be really, really surprised. Uh, so these guys are going to want to go into that army, I believe. Orders. And then we can send one more to Gibraltar just because, you know, we're still in a situation where if we went to war with Spain there, we might not have enough divisions to protect it. And I guess that's it. Uh, we could ask for axes in Italy so that we can send divisions there uh, immediately. Maybe I should leave some here to defend yeah, especially we've got a war with the, the French, although I think they should be able to defend the French border. And Austria is still here breaking uh, or dividing Italy and, and uh, Germany right now. 
So I think that they're okay. We won't send any there yet. Let's just get these guys going back home, especially since I did just move, like, all the, the troops we had defending the homelands, but essentially um, moved them over to here, to the Netherlands. We could put more divisions there. Maybe we will. Uh, and hold up. What happened over here? Dutch East Indies declared war in the Indonesian order. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's the fascist Dutch East Indies, who is in the Allies. However, you have the Indonesian order, which is also fascist. What the fuck? <laughs> so I don't know uh, what's going on here. This is interesting. So who's the puppet? All right, so yeah, these guys are still the puppet. Yeah, they're probably the Allies. Okay, got it. And then we have uh, this fascist faction. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. The fascist divided. Interesting, that must be... Maybe that's something special with the Italian, or excuse me, with the uh, the Dutch focuses? That's interesting. That's really strange, actually. I've never seen anything quite like that. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know uh, why that happened. Uh, it, it's interesting, though. Uh, I guess we'd probably get called into the war. They'd ask us to. Let's wait. Uh, they might be able to do it themselves. Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's just wait and see. All right, so uh, we got encryption. And so that means we could go and get the improved fire control system for when we get those battleships, and I think that's what we'll get next. Let's go and grab that. It's only 58 days. All right, so we just keep watching their war, and that was another thing you guys expressed, is that we could just let them exhaust themselves a little bit, exhaust their manpower, and just, uh, before we hop in here, you know, we, we continue to build up while they get weaker, you know? Uh, the idea is that they get weaker. Oh, and there's an invasion here. Interesting. Sp uh, Spain, man, Spain with their invasions. They launch an invasion there, which is really going to cause some problems for the Germans. Uh, but yeah, I do think we'll go to war with the the communist. Man, I wonder if they'll be able to, to deal with that. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so we got improved light batteries. Those will be for our destroyers. Did we, uh... Actually, I don't know if we've got the, the destroyers built yet. We do not have the destroyers yet, so we need to still get those 69 days. I think we were getting the equipment text for them first. Uh, so, for instance, we could get those depth charges there uh, to put onto the destroyers before we actually get them. Uh, another thing that we could get is the uh, torpedo launchers, and that'd be nice to have too. Our light cruisers, though, are building now, and we don't have the new guns for those, so I'm also tempted to go ahead and get this. Uh, 58 days. How much would, would this one be here? It'd be uh, 54 days, uh, so not much difference there, and I think the guns make a bigger difference right now. So let's go ahead and get the uh, 58 days for that medium battery. So we can put those on our, our uh, cruisers when they're done. We currently have them both set to just build one more. All right. So our, our fleet is looking pretty good. I feel confident about how that's going to end up going. Uh, they haven't call, called us into this war. Did it already finish up? Maybe it's... Oh, maybe they're not at... No, they are at war. Okay. Yeah, they're at war with each other. Uh, I don't really know what's going to end up happening here, though. Uh, we probably should help them, uh, I suppose, that, but... What advantage, advantage do we get doing so? If they start to lose, we'll help. How many divisions do they each have? I guess that's what we'll check. Uh, so they have eight divisions, and they have eight divisions. So they're actually even. Uh, neither one has uh, any ships. Uh, they've got all the military factories. And they've got almost all the civilian factories. They've got all the manpower as well. All right. We might need to help them then. If they ask... I guess that's what I'll do. If they ask, then I'll help. If they don't, then I won't. <laughs> uh, and it does seem that the, the Dutch are, are pumping divisions over there as well, so maybe they'll they'll take care of it. I thought I had this one protected, man. This I'll tell you what, this front here, man, we had the same problems here trying to do this before with the uh, in the, the Dutch series. Uh, maybe there is a division there. Yes, I don't know, man. Like, why are they not defending that province? No, there's not a division there. They got two here. Uh, but nobody's defending that one province. All right, I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Uh, so yeah, we'll have to watch the Spanish front here and see what's what's going to happen there. And yeah, I'm pretty interested to see how this goes. Um, but yeah, just let them exhaust themselves against each other and uh, overall be beneficial to us. So we did finish up the light cruisers. Um, yeah, so we just finished those up. We can go ahead and finish uh, waiting for some of these techs. Might as well. And we'll just put the... Yeah, we'll just put them into other things. Uh, so we'll get... Yeah, because we have this building. This gets done the 6th of May. So what we could do is just put them into here so we get the support cruisers a little bit quicker. 
and then put into like um, submarines and and these are older destroyers so I guess we shouldn't get those I guess these are older submarines too but we need more of those older submarines and maybe one more of the Muppets uh, yeah we'll get get more Muppet uh, destroyers finished up here all right uh, let's take a look at what ships we have done uh, we currently have uh, a light cruiser done so we'll pop them into this uh, training fleet and no large ships there that are currently done put these guys over here all right so yeah uh, it does seem that the Soviets are uh, trading provinces with the, the Polish uh, but losing up here in the north a bit but in the far north they're winning uh, so it's it really can't say that either side is winning at this moment all right, so we do have some some free civilian factories. We've got a lot of uh, factories right now. I bet we're getting a lot from both of these factions that are at war with each other. I, I would not be surprised if they are trading for our resources right now. All right, so uh, did we get did we get all of these built up? I don't actually know. So let's just kind of dip around and see how we're how we're doing on getting these these constructed. Uh, we can't go any higher on those those two there. And we're looking. Looking okay here. Uh, somebody had mentioned that I should have built the, uh, you know, built the radar here in uh, in Aberdeenshire. Uh, should have built it there because it would have covered a bit here uh, a little bit more. Uh, but it's too late now. I'm not gonna build one there. At this moment, it's fine. Uh, so I guess we're done with radar. Yeah, we're done with radar. Uh, so uh, we're done with um, that. We're not getting any more fuel fuel silos anytime soon. So I suppose let's get. Two more dockyards and then just military factories. Man, we always need the military factories. I think we're good on, yeah, we're good on just about everything else. So yeah, that's what we'll do. Uh, let's get two more dockyards. Just build them here, and then uh, military factories. Just keep these guys busy, so I don't have to, I have to pay attention to them for a little while. All right. So we can just keep this on speed five and just watch the conflict as it uh, as it goes. And Afghanistan did join. Oh, interesting. The Soviet Union declared war in Afghanistan. That is right. I forgot that they had uh, went that route. So they'll probably conquer Afghanistan. They might even conquer Iran before we're able to. That's okay. That's fine. Uh, like I said, we're probably going to go to war with the Soviets first. Uh, I think that it'd be best to go, go to war with the, the communist faction before we did the democratic faction. There's a lot of uh, benefits to that. Remember, we're going to get this to get rid of that modifier. The communists are larger and more powerful in a way. Um, they're more of a threat. Uh, also, a more war a worldwide threat because they're all over the world. And we did get the AA, so that's going to be useful to put on our ships too. Uh, and we are in 1941 as well. Okay, uh, so we should probably start working on 1941 industrial techs then. But yeah, the communists are more of a threat overall. And uh, also, the. Democratic faction would be likely the one the United States would join. So if uh, we went to war with Germany and their faction, that would probably pull the Americans in. Uh, so we can kind of avoid that for a little while. And look at this, man. Belgium's getting conquered here. Yeah, I just feel like waiting. I don't know how much longer I don't wait, guys. I really feel like we need to, to get involved. I, I'm kind of worried about the German faction losing, man. I don't want... I don't want them to lose. I want to keep the communists, you know, busy. Uh, with another faction, so they can't just concentrate on us. All right, so we did knock that out. They improved fire control systems, which will be adding to a few of our ships. And I guess we're going to go ahead and keep on working on industrial techs. Uh, we also have still got a lot of planes we need to get, uh, and we have a lot of ships we need to get as well. I guess we can do the, the destroyer. And you know what? Let's get the techs. Let's go and grab that one up. 54 days. And then we can apply that to our cruisers that we're going to be building soon. And we're just waiting on a couple other techs right now. Uh, but you get the radars. Excellent. Uh, so that'll be helpful. Could get the next line of radar as well. Uh, but we're not going to. Uh, let's let's do uh, industrial techs. Let's get construction five. And then uh, we can go ahead and build up uh, the radar in these areas. So we have top level radar in all of our locations here. And here as well. And we didn't put any radar here. Uh, that would be useful, I suppose, but uh, yeah, we're not going to. Uh, we already have like enough locations where I got radar at the moment, so we won't do that. We could also build radar here too. That'd be helpful too. You know what? I almost want to do it here. You know what? We will. We'll do it right there. I think that would actually end up being overall uh, fairly helpful against the Americans whenever that war starts. All right, so that'll keep that'll keep our factories busy for a long time. 
Uh, I almost want to build those before the, the military factories, but I guess the military factories would be helpful sooner. So we get the improved medium batteries. I think the last thing we need to get is the guns for the battleships. But what we'll do is let's go ahead and go after the torpedo launchers because that would be useful for our destroyers when we build those out. So we'll get those and the next naval tech we'll get is the destroyer one. So really focus on our naval techs and then we'll kind of uh, shift focus back to land and, and air ones. Uh, but again, I feel like you have to go after the naval ones kind of early. I don't know what happened to the French. They were pushing forward here, and it looks like they kind of disappeared. Uh, maybe to another front, perhaps? Not entirely sure. Uh, the French never did make any more gains here. Not really seeing much differences here on this front either, though the Soviets do continue to push forward there. Uh, we've got a dockyard, and well, what equipment did I get? Oh, the improved anti-air. Oh, we're not building those. That's right. We're not putting those in our divisions at the moment. All right. Uh, that's mainly we got that for our ships. And... I don't know what that's notifying us of. But anyway, we got dock yards. So let's go and get these assigned. Did we finish up the cruiser? Uh, we did not. We get that on the 26th of March, so pretty damn soon. So we won't put any more into those since we're only building the one more. Uh, what we can do is go ahead and get more destroyers in. And I, I'm assuming that we also have some ships here. Yes, we do. All right, so let's go ahead and take the two submarines, put them into the submarine one, and the destroyers into this one. And we'll see if uh, these guys are done training. They are. All right, so it's going to pull them all out, put them over here for right now. Although I think that puts us at, uh, okay, we're at four cruisers here. I don't know. I was thinking we had four. Uh, we're at three cruisers. Excuse me. I don't know why I was thinking we had four. Uh, and we did get another one of these guys done. All right, so let's go ahead and set up a, uh, an army here to do the naval invasion. Uh, so we will set up uh, any regular divisions that we have. Orders. We're going to set them up in a separate army here. And we will just kind of give them different icon here and they can be well, like a pinkish color or whatever and let's move them down here for right now don't have a uh, commanders assigned or anything like that again it's i need to know who we're going to war with first and where we need to have like our best commanders it doesn't seem like these guys need our assistance they've got it all right so i won't help them though we could get experience from it overall uh it's fine oh uh, we you know what we should probably train this guy up i always try and move him like i do the ships you gotta do it down here though all right, so let's go ahead and have uh, this guy, well, we didn't change the icon. We're just gonna have him train up. Come on. And then let's take a few more divisions uh, after we Listen set this up. up. And we're gonna just set it up from right here. Invade that port. And we're gonna take a few more divisions and give them Ready, to that army there so they can uh, get that done. We might wanna send some of our own divisions, I think, even if they're not great. Uh, we'll keep that one there. Uh, let's just take one of these and send them here. Again, I don't think that we're gonna have too many issues on this front, uh, but I would like to get I'd like to get five divisions into that army and have them all be our own divisions if possible. Uh, just looking for good divisions to take here. Uh, we'll take we'll take one of these ones then. Oh, I want one of mine. This guy right here. All right. So it puts us up to five divisions. Two of them are decent. Hopefully that'll be enough. It might not be, but I would not be surprised if, if France has moved all of their divisions out of Indochina, because why would they keep them there? Uh, they don't really have anybody to worry about at my front right now. Uh, so, hmm, I wonder what happened there. One of our military factories got pulled, but uh, so we're not building any carrier fighters right now. But that's okay. We don't really need a lot right now. Uh, in fact, oh, yeah, we'll keep one, one uh, factory into each of those, but that's it. Uh, we can modify our government. We're going to change up the manpower laws, but now I don't know if I want to because I want to see how much uh, this national focus uh, takes it down. So we'll wait till we get that before we spend it. I want to see how, how that ends up looking. And we'll just save it up. It's fine. Um, I don't think there's anything we like have to have right now. I mean, I'd eventually, well, if we got the industrial concern, I would just hate to... We'll be fine, right? Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's do it. Let's get the industrial concern because at this point, there's not a lot of industrial techs left. So, and we're about to research all the 1941 ones, so it would make sense to get it now. Uh, so we did finish up that light cruiser. Excellent. Uh, let's just go ahead and build a crap ton of submarines then, and the uh, the Muppets. All right, and that does mean that we have some ships here that need to get trained. So just keep them uh, training up and. I think we are gonna 
to join this this war next episode, guys. Um, I, I, don't, I don't like sitting on the sideline this long. So we'll go a little bit longer because we're waiting on Spain. Because uh, that's what some of you guys wanted me to wait for. It looks like they're actually... Wait, we're losing now. Um, yeah, they're losing fascism. This isn't going to work. I just smacked the hell out of Mike. I was pretending it was Spain, man. Smacking them like, God damn it. Causing me problems. Yeah, they were at 30% or something like that. Now they're at 17%. Did we lose that... Yeah, looks like we lost the bonus that was ticking about. Nope, it's right there. Fascist influence. I get it till 1942. Uh, they did get the daily communism support. So that kind of, yeah, that basically annuls that. Makes it irrelevant. Do they have an advisor too? Uh, I don't see one. So they sh should still be ticking up because remember we have the boosting po party popularity there. So I'm not entirely sure why they're losing party popularity yeah that is strange but it is ticking down I don't think that this is gonna work here's what we'll do I'll give it a little bit longer and watch it okay it is ticking up now they must have gotten like a, a yeah you know what it must have been like a national focus that just gave them a boost or something because it is still ticking up damn that's all the progress we made okay so that's one more reason not to not to wait man yeah that's a real shame guys all right well nothing to be done about it so uh, we're waiting on text because we like, I would prefer to just do this. I mean, we almost have these done. Uh, so we'll better get the light cruisers uh, very soon here. Uh, we'll get them um, basically as soon as we finish these two. Uh, so in 19 days, we'll get the light cruisers. So for right now, let's just put them into, it doesn't matter. We'll just put them right there. Cause this is only, it's 19 more days. And so that'll change up our uh, manpower quite a bit. Hopefully we got the British path to fascism uh, and since there's a civil war in Mexico as well. Uh, so you've got a fascist, a fascist faction here. Okay, that's interesting. I almost want to send uh, some volunteers. We could also send volunteers to this war, in fact, if we really wanted to help the Germans out. Uh, and I'm almost tempted to. Because they do look like they're losing... Well, yeah, it's actually, they're, they're not losing anything. Maybe we'll send some, some over here to the Mexicans. And we'll have fascists on both sides. I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, yeah, we'll send some some volunteers over there. We'll set up an army here in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and get the uh, techs and the national focus picked first, though. Uh, so we've gotten the naval bombers. Let's get the close air support, and we will go ahead. We don't have any uh, air experience, so we'll just change these up uh, to the naval bomber twos. Get those building and uh, national focus selected next. Uh, secure the Italian alliance. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get that done while I'm over here looking at it. Also, I don't know if we're trading for any fuel. I don't think we are. Yeah, we're not. Okay, so yeah, we're about to be maxed out. Uh, so that's pretty pretty good. Uh, we actually maxed that out. Nice. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, we did that even with the all the planes and ships training. These guys are actually done. They've probably been done for a little while. Uh, so we have 800 here. Let's go ahead and move them. Uh, we eventually need to start moving them where we want them. I mean, uh, so we'll at least have them in the beginning of the war. So let's go ahead and get bunch of air wings here I can press ok because uh, yeah I haven't been looking at this for a little while uh, so we should have like a lot all right and that'll be one way we can get some army experience though is helping out in Mexico yeah we'll just get a ton of uh, air wings oh, we will just put all those guy over there oops damn it I meant to put this up to 200 so we we'll just get a ton of air wings uh, building up I'm sure we have a lot of uh, fighters that are ready as well yeah, a little bit to get like three air wings of fighters uh, training up. So we're going to have a, a good size air force. All right, that's fine. We'll do this. So we should have a good size air force by the time the war breaks out, especially with the fact that the uh, two sides are probably currently losing planes. All right, so let's get all those guys training up. And then let's go help out in Mexico, man. Uh, so let's see what we can give them, uh, how, how large of a army, four divisions. So we can give them four divisions. This will give us something to do, and it will also uh, generate army experience. So we want to go and put together an army. Uh, just, it doesn't really matter. These tanks aren't worth training at this time. Uh, these guys, let's put them over here real quick, get them training up. Uh, so let's do motorized. Uh, maybe like two motorized and two infantry is what I'm thinking. Would be a good choice here. And we're going to go ahead and give them a commander. Uh, we could just give them the Alexander again because we're trying to get him uh, leveled up here. And he, uh, 
would be the best option, I think. Yeah, just looking at our current options. So let's give him Harold Alexander. Uh, and he's gonna go over to Mexico and, and lead our four divisions in the fight. All right, send volunteers and Alexander. Let's send him. All right, so, oh, they joined the Central European Alliance. That's a shame. Okay, well, it's fine. Um, now I almost don't want to help them. Yeah, okay. I don't want to help them now. I didn't even think about that. So we're going to have to pull our volunteers back. Yeah, I don't want... I don't want to have... Because they're going to join the United States, and I wanted the United States to have another front they've got to worry about. So we'll have to pull those back. All right, that didn't work out. I didn't even think about the fact that they might do that. Although I don't know that you can pull volunteers back. You know what? I don't think you can pull volunteers back until the war is over. All right, so I think we're forced into helping them now because I did that. Shit. All right, so that's kind of a shame. Uh, yeah, the only way to pull them back is once you go to war. So I guess we are helping them. Uh, damn it. That kind of messed everything up. I just saw a fascist, and I was like, oh, let's help the fascist. Uh, but that ended up not going the way I would like. Uh, so we do have anti-tanks building, but clearly I mean, we actually have 10 going towards anti-tanks. Never mind. Uh, how are we looking on motorized right now? Uh, we've really got that built out as well. I guess we'll just concentrate on planes. I mean, we're just stocked up on everything at this moment. Uh, so there's no reason to to have all these factories going. We'll keep them into a little bit into the anti-tanks. Get that built out. Uh, but yeah, let's just pull factories from a lot of this. Start putting them into planes, guys. Because, yeah, we do not have the amount of planes that we need. All right, and we are finally running low on aluminum. There's a few things we can do about that, so we'll do that here soon. Uh, in fact, I'm not even going to bother trading for it. Uh, let's just go ahead and do it now. We'll just take it up to the top. That's getting us oil there. Um, so there's a bit here that we can get. Uh, that'll get us five aluminum there. Uh, is that the best one? Yeah, I think that's the best one. Uh, let me just kind of dip around all of our territories and see if there's anywhere else that would get us a bit of uh, aluminum here. I don't. Yeah, there's none over here. There is. Yeah, there's that one, which you already built up. So I think that's it. That might be uh, That might be all. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does look like that's it. Uh, we could build these up too. I think we will. Let's build them up. Uh, and we're just going to take this one up to the top here. That'll get us the aluminum that we need for a little while. Eventually, we're going to have aluminum problems. And we've got our depth charge mortar done. Uh, so let's go ahead and do destroyers next, guys. It's going to get these 69 days. Uh, and no. Uh, giving them docking rights would allow them to use our naval bases for, uh, you know, repairing. So we're not going to do that. I'm assuming they want to use it here. Yeah, I guess that'd be what they're trying to do. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed that I sent the volunteers here. We could always not help and send them off, but I don't know. Might as well. Might as well help them out. Where'd they go? Oh, they're not there yet. I'm an idiot. <laughs> there would be a notification, of course. All right, these guys are done training. Let's go ahead and put them back into... Oh, good God. There's like all these same armies here. What's this one? Oh, is there like two of the same armies? Yeah, there are. That's confusing. Let's go and fix that. Oh, those are the ones that came from Africa. Got it. All right, so let's move them over here. And it does seem that there are quite a few divisions here that need to be trained up. All the motorized. So we're going to do that. It doesn't look like they need much experience, though. So. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we have those guys doing their thing. And let's just kind of dip around and see what's going on in the war here. Uh, and, yeah, the Soviets continue making good progress there. And they're just trading lands with Poland. Uh, this invasion with, for Spain has gone well for them. Hasn't gone bad, but we'll be able to easily cut them off once we join that war there. Uh, Belgium's still in it, but for how much longer, who can say? Uh, yeah, it's it's an interesting situation. It's, it's fun to watch. Uh, so let's... What was I going to do? I think we're just waiting for this, right? Oh, unassigned divisions. I know there's something I was looking at. Let's go and get him training up. And uh, then we'll just wait for these guys to get here. And there we go. They are there. So we're going to take it down uh, just a little bit. And where are our divisions? They're here. Uh, let's go ahead and get them helping out. Maybe like cut off divisions here. Again, just try and get some experience and stuff. And we'll just put them like right there. And then give them a little quick... Uh, line there and just try and get some experience i suppose we'll help them win but it wasn't really my goal here that's not what i desire to do uh honestly that's yeah, uh, 
I I wish they hadn't joined that faction. And I didn't see a notification about us being able to ask them, or I would have. Uh, So, advanced ship torpedo launcher has been knocked out. Uh, So, what do we still need? Obviously, the submarine stuff, uh, and then the stuff for the battleships. All right. Well, let's start working on battleship techs, then. Uh, So, I guess we can get the guns in 58 days, so we'll do that. Let's get those guns knocked out. And... These guys here should be there soon. Now, they didn't take the railroads, that's what took them so damn long. Uh, we probably will want to have these ones take the railroads, otherwise it's going to take forever for the infantry to get here. And yeah, we'll mostly be defending here, it looks like, initially. Uh, so yeah, we'll defend, and this will get us army experience. It's all helpful. And let's go and get the military factory assigned. It just sucks because I assume that they're going to join this faction now, the United States, you know, or the United States will join their faction, which then puts the United States where they can just solely concentrate on Canada. That's a real bummer. All right, well, whatever. Nothing to be done about it now. It's just the way it is. Uh, So let's go ahead and place this into, uh, let's see what we want to get. Uh, Let's do more naval bombers. Oh man, we are so short. We are gonna have to trade. All right, well, we'll trade with, who do we want to trade with? I'm just looking for somebody who, I mean, could trade with our our puppet, but again, I don't want to take up their autonomy because eventually we're gonna annex them. Let's trade with the Dutch. Yeah. All right, so uh, there are actually a lot of divisions here, right there. So we won't attack there. Um, let's attack here, although we might need to attack there just to keep these guys from from moving here. Uh, looks like they'll be there in a matter of less than 24 hours. All right, so that's not gonna work. All right, so yeah, I wanted to cut them off here. Uh, shoot across. Uh, these are mountain provinces. We're not gonna waste any manpower and stupid attacks because once again, I don't really care if they even win. Really, we're only here for the the experience, guys. That's the only reason why we're even assisting them. And move them into there. Excellent. Oh, yes, I should probably take a look at the ship situation. I'm sure we have ships done training. Uh, So we're getting a lot of destroyers and submarines built at this time because of us uh, waiting to get those techs. Which, did we get those? I didn't actually take a look. Let me see if we have them all. We should actually have them all, shouldn't we? Oh, we do. All right, so we should have already designed those. My bad, guys. Uh, Let's go ahead and take care of that now. Let's get the uh, new light cruisers going out there. We're going to make some adjustments here, make them much, much better. I don't remember what all we got. I know there's a lot, though, uh, so we're going to just go through it all. Uh, obviously, we'll get the, the guns going in here. Oops, clicked on the wrong one. My bad. Uh, rapid fire guns. So we want to get the light cruiser battery. I have to be careful I don't pick the wrong ones because I almost just did there. And then rapid fire guns here, light cruiser battery. Uh, so, yeah. Big jump up in light attack, and we're not even done here. Let's get the new anti-air in there. Um, the new fire control system as well. This is going to boost it up a little bit. It does tick down reliability, though. I think we have the uh, much, much better radar. Good God, that's so much better. Uh, no better engines, that's right. Um, Dual-purpose secondary. Let's get that placed in there. Armor's good. Uh, we haven't researched the newer ones of these. I don't know. Maybe that's... I don't know if that goes past... Well, I'll have to take a look. I don't know if it goes past level 2, actually. Uh, and then torpedoes. I know we did get the better torpedoes. And we have the better anti-air, but we're not going to get anti-air here. Instead, we're going to go ahead and go with the... Although I'm not... See, there it is. We can do the dual purpose here. Actually, guys, uh, this one's not as good. As soon as I saw it, I was like, you know, that, that one's not as good. We're going to have to change this up by putting those over there and then moving over here to get the secondary battery. Because, yeah, this one's a lot better. Uh, that's the one I wanted. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have some massive improvements here. Look at that. 12 plus light attack. Uh, light piercing goes up a little bit. Uh, torpedo attacks going up. Uh, anti-air is going up. Uh, detection obviously is much, much better. Yeah, this is going to be such a better uh, light cruiser ship here. All right, so let's go and save that and get these guys constructing. And good God, if I can, if I can do it. Apparently I'm incompetent. So let's do the uh, support cruisers next. Make sure we change that initially. And uh, we might want to just go ahead and go with... I think the dual purpose is, in fact, better. Um, let me let me double check. It's it's three anti-air here, um, but of course you can't. Yeah, you can't get the really good ones here. Uh, but I mean, you're getting a, a light attack here, so I, yeah, I think we'll probably go uh, with these ones because I I, I want to say they're better. Although the piercing does go down uh, because it's an average, of course. So the piercing will go down by going with that. Uh, oh, it gives a, a plus ten percent anti-air though. All right, so maybe we would want to keep some of those then. I didn't really think about that. 
All right, well, let's go ahead and get the uh, support cruisers done. We'll start here at the bottom and get them all changed up here. Uh, get them new batteries, get them new anti-air. And uh, of course we have the better, no, we don't have better sonar. Uh, sonar's fine, but we do have better radar though. Uh, engines is great, dual purpose can be added in there. Uh, we do have uh, better depth charges as well. And let me just check here. Uh, so this one will be the anti-air, the level three anti-air, but we're gonna be uh, changing up uh, these ones, I think. I wanna get the dual purpose so they're better at the light attack. And I wanna say, I mean, I don't know that, what we'll do is we'll do one in each. Yeah, we'll do this one here and then here. Uh, this is where we'll place the secondary battery. Uh, and it, you lose a little bit of anti-air, but you get, get so much more and also lose some speed. Uh, but you get such better uh, light attack uh, that I feel like it's worth it. So I'm gonna change that up and, and overall this is a pretty uh, good light cruiser ship as well. So let's go ahead and save that and let's get these building as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and get them placed. And I, oops, I think we have all of the, uh, all of the, the equipment for this. So we shouldn't have to change them up for a little while, hopefully anyways. So let's go and give them quite a few dockyards. We're gonna pull from uh, destroyers quite a bit. We spent a while building those. Uh, let's pull a lot from, from submarines right now. Uh, the Muppets can go back down as well to level twos. Cause we're about to stop building those ones any damn way. I'm going to pull from here as well. And that'll give us uh, an excess of, of dockyards. So let's go ahead and get get those assigned. And yeah, this is, yeah, we can go in and go all the way up with the, the light cruisers then. And we actually have one more. I guess we can keep building destroyers then. All right, do we have any ships sitting here? We do not. So let's go ahead and go back. Well, first of all, air situation. Okay, still got those guys trained up. So yeah, we're gonna be joining the, the war pretty soon, guys. I don't think I don't think this is ever gonna tick up enough to, to warrant us waiting any longer. It's at 20% right now. Yeah, I think we're probably gonna be joining next episode, guys. Uh, and that'll get us out of this, the volunteers here. We'll get our volunteers back. So yeah, that's what we'll do, guys. Uh, we have this set up already. Seeing if there's anything else we need to do before we go to war with the communist. Uh, I wanna do that invasion. Um, I guess what we can do is take a look here and see where everybody's at, see if there's any other situations. Again, we're gonna leave Africa up to Italy. You know, we'll just hope that the Italians uh, eventually get this done here. Uh, so, you know, we are currently, oh, what is that? 40, 45 days? Uh, 45 days uh, to getting the Italians into the faction. I could always wait for that as well, uh, waiting to secure the Italian alliance, uh, but it's gonna be very, very soon, guys, so it's there's no reason to not go ahead and start uh, making sure the fleets are all set up, and, and let's just go in and prep up. Um, put Probably put some more divisions along here. Uh, this is not enough. We'll move some more there. Uh, we're also going to do a, a line instead, an offensive line, because we're gonna go ahead and attack. And the Dutch have nobody here. The Dutch have nobody here to defend if we join. Wow, because they're so distracted over here. Damn. All right, well, hopefully they get it wrapped up soon um, because yeah, uh, they got about a month before I'm gonna probably pull them in here. Maybe a little bit more than that because we are gonna finish this episode and we won't go just yet, but soon. And I'll go ahead and arrange everything off camera, guys. Uh, so you guys don't have to sit through some of the, you know, like moving the planes to their locations and stuff like that. Uh, but very soon, guys, we're gonna join here in the summer. All right, so I wanted to get a little bit more experience because maybe we can make an adjustment before we do join the war, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to uh, I don't think we'll be able to do many attacks here uh, without taking losses that I'm not willing to uh, to take. Let's try uh, an attack here and see if we can get a win. Uh, no, we can't. We'll have to wait till that one division leaves. Or two divisions are leaving. All right, so they'll be gone in hours. All right, so let's try now. I know that division, the infantry divisions don't have uh, uh, four organizations. So that's affecting it. Uh, should be able to get a win there even with the two divisions. And this is, of course, getting him some experience, too, so that's always helpful, getting our our uh, commander some experience. And uh, we do have a ship done here, so we'll go and throw him. I always want to make sure these submarines keep training up, because if the war's starting soon, they might not have enough time to get it completed. Uh, we do have a light cruiser done. Let's go and pull him out. That's another thing I need to do, is just kind of get, get all of our ships uh, moved around. Uh, and, and again, just do that off-camera, just because it's tedious. So I'll do the ships and the planes. Get it taken care of, guys. Uh, we will need to have this guy. Well, they have like ship for organization right now. They're taking it up fairly slow as well. All right, we'll get him there, and hopefully that'll be enough to hold that. Because uh, what we'll do, what we can do here is have that division attack that way. 
And let's go and attack here. And it doesn't look like it's going to have any effect. Uh, despite the fact that we got fortifications here. Interesting. Let's get him moving back. And yeah, manpower is now taken up. Now we don't have that anymore. Uh, that problem. So we could always build some more divisions too. Uh, so maybe we're going to do that now, in fact. I just hate that we have like... <sighs> We haven't really made any adjustments. Like, our tanks, we haven't done shit with them yet. Like, uh, they're so garbage because I haven't been able to do anything with them. Because we, we haven't had any army experience. Uh, once the war starts, obviously, we'll have an abundance of army experience. But that doesn't help us now. Uh, but, yeah, let's go ahead and, and train some more troops up. Uh, these guys need a lot of adjustments to them. So, and we have quite a few of them. Let's just train a few infantry. Since they are mostly done. And it does seem that we are lacking anti-tanks. Okay, well, we'll have those built out soon. Let's just build five. It's fine. That's, that's a good number, I feel for right now just so that we're using that manpower that we're getting and I, I don't know how much manpower we'll have at the end uh, and you know what? I want you guys to stay here uh, oh the front's messed up I see what's going on here it's wondering why they were so keen on moving stay here man oh damn it. <laughs> get your ass over there okay we can now move again uh, we'll have to attack here to stop them from all oh, that's not gonna stop them that's not stopping shit is it all right, we might be able to beat them just because we're motorized, though. It's not impossible. Yeah, we did beat them. Excellent. Uh, so we're going to need to uh, send some more assistance here. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we're waiting for him. There he is. There he is, guys. Yeah, I don't know that we'll be able to cut these guys off. I was hoping to be able to do it, uh, but it doesn't feel like it's going to get done. Now, I'm worried about moving the division out of here, but we will go ahead and move them. So we can kind of help out here. And we will attack. We'll attack those guys. See if that kind of helps out. Doesn't look like it's going to be enough. Listen up. Yeah. Probably not going to be enough. And really, I mean, there's no real reason for us to even be here, honestly. Oh, it's green. Excellent. All right. So let's see if we can't cut them off now. So those guys are going that way. Let's go ahead and have this guy go this way as well. And then he'll defend that province. And we'll see if we can't uh, cut these guys off from supply. I mean, really, it's... We're not even going to be participating in this war for much longer, so it's kind of irrelevant, really. Uh, and they did get somebody there. All right, so that's a shame. But what we can do is have that guy go here, because either way, it doesn't matter who gets there first. And they'll get there in two days and 13 hours, while our division will get there in 23 hours, because they're nice and fast. And this guy needs to stay here. I will right, just pull it back. He's worried about this not being uh, protected here. That's his concern. And there's, he's still going to want to keep going over there. So they are cut off. Uh, obviously, we don't really have the divisions to uh, get them taken out here. But they'll start losing uh, supply. I don't know any reason why they wouldn't start losing supply here. But this is essentially what we'd do to try and get them defeated here. Let's go move that guy back because... Yeah, yeah, I don't even know if we'll be able to hold there now. It does look like they're about to win. Let's see if we can't help here. And we did get concentrated industry four, and this is in fact going to be the end of the episode. All right, so uh, we'll just leave one towards the industrial right now. Uh, well, I would like to get re fuel refining. Uh, that'd be nice to have, but man, we need so much stuff, guys. Uh, we have just uh, not been going. I mean, there's just so much stuff to get, uh, really. So that's what it comes down to. So we need to work on uh, land techs. Uh, we need a lot of land techs, and we need to work on the air techs as well. I don't like where we're at on air doctrines. Uh, that's not in a good place. Maybe we'll start working on those once we get uh, these done. We need to get tactical bombers. I could probably use strategic bombers in the long run as well. Uh, so those are all things I'd like to get here in the future. Uh, we are in 1941, so we could get the radar and the, and the control. Uh, what is it called? Uh, a fire control system. So cook at that. Um, let's get fuel refining. Again, I do feel like fuel is going to be an issue. It doesn't look like it's going to be an issue, but it, it will be. Once those big ships start moving around, guys, you know it's going to be, oh, it's going to be a problem. Uh, so let's get them moving over here. And all right. So that's going to be the end of the episode. Uh, next episode, we're going to declare war uh, on the communists, guys. Uh, I feel like they're the, the strongest of the two powers. Uh, Germany's having problems with this here. Uh, so we're going to attack them from behind. So we don't have any help from the Dutch. It's going to be pretty soon, guys. Maybe like a, a month or two. At, two at most. At most. Uh, so we'll have these guys wipe out uh, Syria, take out Syria, and then they'll be able to kind of move around, protect some of our, our places, maybe help the Italians in Africa, perhaps. I don't know. Uh, not likely to help them much. We'll do the invasion here to get Indochina so that we control uh, pretty much most of the world's rubber supply. Uh, the communists won't have much rubber. They'll have a little bit, uh, but not, not enough. Uh, so we'll take that from them because uh, I know that 72 rubber's got to be helping the French out quite a bit. So take that over. 
Uh, it does look like this is just about uh, finished up here. Uh, we'll send more divisions over to here and also make it into an offensive line. I'll uh, get all the planes and all the ships moved around to where they need to be at. And that'll give them about two months to get their locations and stuff, guys. Uh, I think we might have... Nope, they're still training up. All right, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this this last episode of Peace because, yeah, it's definitely going to be next episode, guys. We're, we're going in into it. We're getting involved. And we're going we're gonna to be attacking all the communists across the world and trying to... Uh, get some good victories here and that'll relieve the germans a bit and it's gonna be a cool three-way war although we won't initially be at war with the democracies and democracies i assume we eventually will especially with the united states having that war goal uh so i hope to see you on that next episode if you enjoyed this one make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment and uh thanks for watching guys